Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, we got another Wi-Fi battle for you guys, and this is the last time we're going to be using the pure um, Ultra Beast because I feel like I've been using them way too much, especially for this first week of uploads. But yeah, uh, leave a comment down below what team you guys want me to use. Nothing cool like that. I got a nice 10% um, Zygarde team coming up next week. But let's start off with this match. So I lead off with Faramusa and my opponent leads off with a Radicate. I go for the U-turn here and it actually one-shots it. I uh, was expecting the Focus Sash, but that didn't happen. Uh, I switch out and I go into my flash, which is my circuitry. Now this circuitry is actually going to sweep. Uh, you guys couldn't tell by the title of this video. Uh, this is actually a really fun circuitry. It actually comes with the Z-Move Hypnosis. Uh, one of the little cheeky things I like to do. Uh, hypnosis has a 60% chance to hit even with Z-Hypnosis. But if you use Z-Hypnosis, you are guaranteed to get your speed up plus one. Which is like the main point of this team here. Now I saw that he didn't have really anything that could stop it. So I went for hypnosis, missed, went for hypnosis again, hit it this time, and he goes to sleep. Now this thing can actually handle my circuitry very, very well. And uh, but if he wakes up, there's really not much he can do to me. So I go for a thunderbolt here. Uh, does a good 30, 40 percent of his health. So there's not much, you know, not, nothing too crazy. He decides to switch out here, which I think was kind of a bad play. Goes out into his cordominable, and I'm pretty sure this thing will not live a thunderbolt. Yeah, it's not super effective, but it is ice fighting, and that basically just cannot take it. Beast boost goes off, so I am plus one special attack, plus one speed. Uh, I'm pretty sure this thing can't take a hit either, but it will not one shot. Thunderbolt does go off, does a decent amount. Psychic's gonna go off against me, and that's gonna just ooh, do a good amount. But luckily, uh, my EV spread is all HP, all special attack, so I'm gonna be able to live a lot. I go for another Thunderbolt here. It was basically free, which is just great. And I know I could live a Sucker Punch from this range, so I wasn't scared of anything, and I outspeed. So another Thunderbolt goes off. This thing is gonna go down, and it's a basic sweep, guys. Oh my god, like this is nothing. Like he made too many switches. He was trying to predict stuff that he didn't need to predict. And at this point, it doesn't matter. He goes for his Beak Break or whatever it's called, trying to burn me, but it is not a contact move Thunderbolt. So. Literally, this whole game was just Z Hypnosis, Land Hypnosis the second hit, and then just do this. Now, my opponent here actually has an Ash Grenade. He goes for Water Shuriken. I think he was hoping to hit me. He gets one hit off. He gets two hit off, but that's not enough to knock me out. I live on 15. Thunderbolt again. Ash Grenade goes down. And even if Ash Grenade went off, um, I had so many other stuff to take it off. All my mods were at full health, so there's really not much he could do. And with this, he brings on his last mod. I click the Thunderbolt, and that's game. That's GG. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys liked it, please make sure to hit the like button. That's basically how YouTube does anything anymore. And leave a comment down below. Doing those things really helps out any content creator, especially right now where YouTube's being really wonky. But with that, I'm going to get going. I'll see you guys next time. And also, if you guys want to battle me, follow me on Twitter. That's the fastest way to get a battle. And if not on Twitter, then follow, get me on one of my live streams. I stream a lot on YouTube gaming. I also stream quite a decent amount on Twitch. With that, I'm going to get going. See you guys next time. Later.